Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to learn how to configure a static IP address on Ubuntu Server 24.04. This is a must know skill for anyone running servers or virtual machines. Let's quickly talk about why we need a static IP address on a server. A static IP allows your server to always have the same IP address on your network. This is crucial for the services like web server, file servers, or even just remote SSH connections, ensuring your server is always accessible at the same IP address. Without any further delay, let's deep dive into the actual step. First thing first, we need to check our current network settings of our server. Log into your server, run IP add show command to get the interface name and the IP details. In the output, we can see we have the interface name ENT0S3. IP address is 192.168.1.16/24. Slash 24 is the subnet mask. So in this demo, what I will do, I will replace this last octet 16 with the 56. Get the default gateway IP address as well. For that, run the command IP space route space show. Default gateway IP in our case is 192.168.1.1. Now that we know our network interface along with the IP details, let's move to the next step, editing the netplan configuration file, which is used to manage network settings in Ubuntu server. Navigate to the directory, cd space etc netplan. Inside this directory, you should see a file with the extension .yml. The file name might vary. First, take the backup of this file using the command cp. Alright, we have the backup file. We can use this backup file whenever we want to roll back the changes. Edit this file using VI editor. Change this uh, value true to false. Here true means interface is getting the IP address from the DSCP server. So we are setting as false means it won't get the IP address from the DSCP server. We need to add some additional parameters like addresses, routes and name server in order to set the static IP address. So type addresses here. In addresses, we can specify the static IP that we want to assign to this interface ENP0S3. For default gateway, we have the parameter routes. So our default gateway IP address is 192.168.1.1 and for DNS server IP addresses we need to define the parameter name server. We can specify the multiple DNS server IP address separated by the comma. So in our case, I am giving IP address as 8.8.8, comma, space, 4.2.2.2. Now save and close the file. In order to apply these changes, we need to run the command sudo space net plan space apply. Now let's confirm that everything worked and your server is using a new static IP address. For that, run the command IP space add space show. We can see the interface ENP0S3 is having a static IP address as 192.168.1.56. Verify the default gateway as well. Run the command IP route space show. 
our default gateway IP is also set. Now try to perform some network connectivity testing. Try to reach this default gateway IP. Run the command ping space 192.168.1.1. Output confirms I can reach to the gateway IP. Now try to connect to the internet. For that, we can try to ping Google. Type ping space google.com. Perfect. I can reach to the internet as well. Okay. Now try to SSH this server over the network. So I'm using mobile extrum. Type SSH space username is Linux Techie and the IP address of your Ubuntu server 1.56 okay I'm able to SSH this Ubuntu server using the static IP address that's all from this video tutorial I hope you have found it useful do not forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials like this as always, leave a comment if you have any questions or need further help. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.